Hi, busy little bee. Hope you're well. Oh, sorry, in caps, busy little bee. Hey, everybody, it's busy little bee. Welcome back to my channel. So let me try to summarize what happened with Breezy on Monday. So she comes forward saying, oh, another woman came forward saying that she hung out with Salah in Thailand. And she, throughout the day, is building this up all over Twitter and her community tab and taking polls. And, and then she goes live and the receipts she claims to have are a picture of Salah that was taken like from a phone onto a computer laptop. Like, someone was watching his video and took a picture of a still frame. That's the picture that Salah supposedly sent to this woman, Pam. Okay, Pam is her supposed name. Her other proof that she claims shows that she was in Thailand was this photo of greenery. Greenery, mind you, that is not native to the continent of Asia. So, um, I have questions. But also, Breezy is so easy to troll. And she tries to play it off like, oh, I had fun anyway, ha ha ha. No, girl, you have no credibility and no one is ever going to take anything you say as fact ever again. Except maybe some of your loyal followers, but most of them have brains enough to realize what you just did. So then she says, oh, well, she tells me that she'll send me the rest of the receipts tomorrow, right? So all day yesterday, it's radio silence from breezy right and then she comes on last night and says first she posts this picture and then this picture it says nothing about pam and then an hour later says just so you guys know i i was aware it was a troll it was funny she did not say anything she said this woman would have her supposed proof yesterday morning and Breezy intentionally was radio silent all day yesterday, probably trying to figure out how she was going to spin this. Also, supposedly Pam, who was so afraid to come forward and have her identity revealed, was answering comments in the video, like after it was posted. So Breezy says this is a sock account that this lady just made up. But as you can see here, it's been active since April 2023. So... Breezy, you need to stop, girl. Some of us are clocking your shit. Let's get into the rest of these screenshots. This is where it all began. She posted this on Twitter saying, another woman has come forward. I was contacted by someone who met Salah in Thailand. I will have more info later, hashtag foodie beauty. And then it's some DMs or whatever from this supposed Pam character, right? So try to remember she was taking this 100% fact at first. She then quickly posts this on her community tab. She says, live happening as soon as I get proof. It's been a wild morning. Some things sound believable. Some things I feel like I caught her in. When we get photographic evidence, I will show all of what she said and gave me. Hopefully I see you later because this has been a wild, because this has been interest. Hopefully I will see you later because this has been interesting, LOL. And so she's already starting to say, hey, maybe this isn't 100%. Maybe I shouldn't slander people continuously. Just a thought. So she, you could tell she's starting to walk it back a little bit. And she's giving little bitty hints of the, the text messages between the two. So then she, later she posts this community tab post saying she basically has no proof other than a photo he sent her. Breezy, I have a question. Where is that photo? Why didn't you share it with your viewers? I would like to know. Because did he supposedly take that picture of himself on a screen that you showed in your live? Just wondering. Okay, so the rest of it says, but she does have a lot to say. <laughs> Do you guys want to hear what she has to say? It's up to you. P.S. She said, if we do go live, she would like to be in the chat to answer questions. And I'm sure that's what it says. Think about it. Number one, I said this before she came out with any of this. I said, who the hell is going to go to just Breezen of all people in Girl World? Not any of these reactors who have thousands in their chats daily. No, no. Let's go for 37 viewer Breezy who just got remonetized. That makes sense. 
Girl, it's because you're gullible. Everyone knows you will believe anything. Hell, you thought you were engaged to garlic bread. Anyway, moving on. So she's got to keep the viewers interested, right? So they tune in later that day. And she comments and says, I'm not sure what I believe, but they have a lot of details. So it sounds like there is a possibility it is real. And then someone says, is there proof she can show like a Venmo payment or something? And then someone said, girl, what details? All these screenshots prove is this person knows some Shanta solar lore and is regurgitating it. And then someone else said, just freezing. Details that are all over the internet for everyone to see. Like everyone sees this but her. How is she this blind? I don't think she is. I think she's playing dumb and I think she had a hand in this. And I think it was in an effort to get viewers back to her channel. Guess what? This is not going to be good for your channel, Breezy. So the two comments on this one that are relevant, in my opinion, are the first and the last. The first one says, some people are so easy and eager to be trolled. And the last one says, nope, it smacks of trying too hard, girl. We, don't, we had the drama. Don't open yourself up to every passing weirdo. That could be dangerous. These are clearly her supporters trying to warn her. And she <laughs> took no heed to it. These are more comments. One person says, get proof, then proceed. Your own credibility will take the hit if it's fake. And then another person says, it's Missy Moo, girl. Get on a call with her and see if you recognize the voice, lol. Our little breezer started to get annoyed with the dodgy troll and left this comment in her comments. It says, it was very frustrating. I'm easily distracted and this took so much time. Like, just answer me, lol. She said in her live that this took hours and hours and hours, like her whole day Monday. <laughs> Here's some more comments that were under her community tab post before she came out with the lives. One person said, I think it would just come off as slanderous. No proof, no to entertaining a troll. Someone else said, I probably won't tune in if there's no merit to it. People spend all day on Twitter coming up with speculation, so I'm not personally interested in watching streams on it. But I'm just one person. Someone else says, why if there's no proof? And I think a lot of us felt that way. Like, if there's no proof, why? It was a money grab, and luckily no one, no one fell for it. She got zero super chats during both lives. Anyways, someone else says, you will get attacked by certain people. No, she's not getting attacked. Uh, the thing about it is, these are in Breezy's own words. How can you be so offended by something that is so true? We're calling her credibility crap because it is, and she has proven it once again, that's all. <laughs> but Breezy stayed steadfast in her pursuit of super chats. So she says, supposed proof coming tomorrow. <laughs> So then Breezy heads over to Twitter and says, they seem to be older. I've seen pics and heard their voice. They don't seem to be very tech savvy either, but I'm still asking so many questions. And then someone replies and says, use a bit of common sense. How old would she have to be in order to not be tech savvy when operating a camera on her phone? A phone she's savvy enough to find you and DM on. Since we know our girl likes to know what Twitter is saying, let's show her. So one person said, anyone who comes forward with info like this and shares it with just breathing is clearly a troll. Any other reaction channel would see right through it. Someone else says, I feel like just breathing isn't the reaction channel people would flock to to give this kind of information. It's probably a troll because she's gullible and wants to have tea no one else has. I mean, she thought she was in her relationship with garlic bread. <laughs> Another Twitter user said, I mean... It's brazen. She would believe anything. I also think she would fake this to draw people to her channel, but that's just my opinion. I kind of agree. I think it could be, and I do have our poll results, by the way. That'll be coming up. Twitter was eating her alive. <laughs> the next user says, Breezy, girl, stop it. That quote-unquote interview was embarrassing. The only two options are you are a gullible fool or you use chat GPT to come up with those messages. You sound so silly. This comment was pretty funny. It says, this is quite possibly the lamest stunt ever in the history of Hater Nation. Can we all just agree that that's true? <laughs> Seems her efforts may have been in vain because like I said, she got zero super chats at all throughout the two lives. 
And this person on Twitter said, here's the kicker. I clicked her page right after she was done with the live and she didn't even crack 50 live views. That's worse than Natter views. <laughs> so I'm sure most of you know that both Girl World Ireland and Garlic Bread made satire videos kind of, you know, poking fun at this whole situation. And someone made sure to let Breezy know on her post last night about how, you know, it was a friendly reminder. She knew she was being trolled. So they say, Garlic made a video making fun of you. Seems like he is still obsessed. Can I have a talk with Breezy's audience? Why, if someone talks about her, are they obsessed, but she can make 30 videos on booty a day and she's not obsessed? Can you answer me that? So Breezy replies and says, he can make fun of me. That's totally fine. Because personally, I'm still laughing. He takes his mom to Victoria's Secret. Her spinning these narratives is never ending. <laughs> There's a whole lot of more comments. If you want to go look yourself, you're more than welcome. If you have some free time and want to laugh. Um, here's the results of our poll. It looks like most people think this is Breezy herself behind this. Hmm. Let me know what you think about all this down in the comments. Thank you for watching. I will see you again very soon. Hopefully with a video on someone else. Breezy, can you stop acting up, please, so I can cover someone else for a little bit? Thanks. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Busy little bee, I will have to congratulate you and thank you on this coverage of the story that nobody ever wants to hear. That's about Breezy, uh, Breezy and uh, Garlic Bread. I am all over anytime you drop some content. <laughs>